Hey guys, this is Shannon with Nearly Organic Noshing, and today I want to talk about egg preservation. On our homestead, it seems like it's either feast or famine with eggs. And in the summer and the spring, we are absolutely overflowing in eggs. This is less than two weeks of egg collections, and I only have 10 layers right now. Um, so we are doing really, really well, and we have been eating a ton of eggs nearly every day. I have a ton of boiled eggs in my refrigerator, but come next winter, now it's February. It is February right now, and my chickens are absolutely kicking butt, but this is going to only last for so long, and I know that the reason why they're doing so well is I have a bunch of new layers. So come next winter, I know it's gonna die off. I will not have the egg production like I do now. So come the holidays, come Thanksgiving, come Christmas, when I do a ton of baking, I will not have a bunch of fresh eggs. Now I can freeze eggs and I will link the video up in the corner uh, for that on how to freeze eggs. I have done that. I have a bunch of frozen eggs in my freezer right now. But that's only good if you want to make omelets or if you're gonna bake with them something that they're going to be blended. If you want deviled eggs, if you want eggs chopped up on salad, if you want soft boiled eggs, you can't do that. And it kills me at the holidays, especially to have to go buy eggs. I hate it when my eggs are, my chickens are producing like this. Um, I hate that they can't do that all year. So I had gone online and I had done a bunch of research and it seemed like there are so many methods out there. There is mineral oil, there is wax, um, there's just refrigerating it. A lot of people have cellars up north where it stays like 40 degrees and they just keep all of their eggs in there. Well, I'm in Florida. We don't have that. It gets hot here. The humidity level is insane. Um, you know, the heat is insane. So. I need something that can hold up to the heat and the humidity uh, and I don't have to put it in a cellar and I don't have to freeze it or refrigerate it. Um, yes, I have refrigerators, but I do not want to devote an entire refrigerator to eggs and I want to be able to take advantage of all of these eggs when my chickens are doing so well. So in my research, I found something called water glassing. Now there is debate on whether this is truly water glassing or using something called sodium silicate is water glassing. I am talking about using hydrated lime. And I'm gonna call that water glassing just because that is what I have read about and seen online. But if you look up water glassing, you may come up with other things. So I saw this on Homestead Family, and I saw this on, uh, I believe it's called the Townsends. It's like the old fashioned way of doing everything. And I really, really love that channel, has some cool stuff. And they were talking about all the different forms of egg preservation. This form has nearly 100% success rate for eight plus months. That is what caught my interest. Now, only Homestead family came back eight months later and tried an egg and said how the egg was. I found one other channel that had done it and she said she was gonna come back months later and try an egg and I couldn't, I looked through all of her videos, I could not find anything else on it. So that's only two channels. It makes me a little bit nervous but I figure, you know what, let's just try it out and see how it's gonna work. And I'm gonna come back at later inter intervals and try the eggs and make sure that it is, they're still good, they're still quality eggs. So all you need are your eggs, you need pickling lime or hydrated lime, which you can get at Home Depot, not garden lime, but this kind of lime. I just went ahead and picked this up from Walmart because they had them on sale. And you see the ingredients down here, calcium hydroxide lime. That's it, that's what you need. They do have it in the building section at like Home Depot or Lowe's or Ace, but you have to buy great big bags of it. And honestly, 
I did not want to have to go buy a giant bag of it and store it somewhere. So I picked up two of these because they had them on sale. Um, I think it was two for six, I believe is what I ended up picking them up for. And what you're going to use is one ounce of the lime to one quart of water. That's the ratio. So I'm going to go ahead and set the camera up and show you how I'm going to do this. Okay, so all I need is my bucket and I have a big clean five gallon bucket and you're going to need a lid of some sort to go on the bucket. Uh, you can use a crock if you want, but buckets just work for us and I have buckets in my pantry that has dry goods in it, so I have a new clean five gallon bucket. I already have seven quarts of water in here and I have seven quarts because I have one more here. This is going to make eight because this package is eight ounces. So I know that the ratio one ounce of this to one quart of water. So one ounce of lime to one quart of water is the ratio I need. So I'm gonna go ahead and dump this in here, add the last of my water and get it all mixed up. And like I said, you can go to Home Depot or Lowe's or Ace or someplace like that and get great big containers of it for less expensive. But this was on sale and this is an experiment for us. So it's very dusty. <laughs> There's that. That is my last quart of water there. Now, you cannot do this with store-bought eggs. Uh, they have to be farm fresh eggs and they cannot be washed and they cannot be dirty. Uh, when I say dirty, maybe. So if it's just a little bit, if you can take a cloth and wipe it off and it's just a tiny little bit, it's fine. You can put it in here. But this is too dirty. It's not going to go in here. So I have another bowl here. So any that are dirty, I'm just going to put to the side and we'll eat those um, coming up. So I have this all mixed up and I'll show you what it's going to look like. looks kind of like milk so it's gonna have a real hazy milky look to it so that's all mixed and so now I'm gonna take my unwashed but clean as in non poopy eggs and put them down into the bucket and I'm just gonna keep doing this until I have a full bucket. Now, this is an experiment for us. Um, from what I've read online, this should work. Um, if worse comes to worse, we'll have wasted eggs. But if this method really does work, then that's awesome. And we'll be able to preserve eggs for months and months and months. Um, it says eight months, 100% success rate. So that is pretty cool. Um, that one, too dirty. So I'm going to go through and just put as many eggs as I can in here and mark it on my calendar as to when I did it. And I think come back at three months and then maybe six months and then, I don't know, eight or nine it makes me a little nervous to go all the way to the nine month mark and you have to make sure that none of them have cracks. You can't put any with a crack in here. Um, they'll go bad. So, and they'll, they'll absorb all this stuff and you don't want them to do that. So I'm just going to keep adding. And then when this bucket is full, I'll label it and put a date on it as to when I started. And uh, we'll come back and try it later. And I have high hopes that this method will work. Um, like I said, I've only seen two other videos out there that people talk about it. So we'll see. And we'll come back and we're going to try them. Of course, we'll float test them. 
um, and make sure that they are okay. But we have really, really high hopes that this is going to turn out and would be an awesome way of preserving your eggs if you don't have refrigeration, um, you're living off grid. So, or you don't want to waste your refrigeration that you do have living off grid. So I'm going to finish doing this and you will see another video in a couple of months, us testing some of these eggs that have been in the solution and then more months down the road, we'll try it again. All right, guys, I hope this has been informative and that you've learned something. At least I have learned something and I'm going to try it out. And uh, if you like the video, definitely give me a thumbs up. Put a comment in the comment section if this is something that you have done. And um, definitely suggest my video to other people if you think they would benefit from it. All right, guys, I hope you're having a wonderful day. Hey, babe. It's okay. Um, when I say dirty eggs, Stop. Hey. <laughs> Seriously. <coughs> I don't have my glasses on, so I know I can't see. <coughs> what kind of dirty are we talking about here? This kind of dirty, <laughs> baby. Dirty bird. I'm a dirty bird. Okay, so dirty eggs.